there was one particular thing that they all worked at for an hour practically, one just one little level that they couldn't get. And the boy who got it, well, you know, <laughs> he was on top of the world and they were all congratulating him. And how did you do it? And that sort of thing. And they know that they can do it, particularly if they solve a, a difficult problem. They've, they've, there's more confidence, there's more self-esteem happening. Kids that we saw who were frustrated early on are now persisting more that they can live with that level of uncomfortableness when they're in the learning zone and they can find solutions to their problems. I'm not an expert at it um, and we're learning together and they really feel good when they can explain it to one of their classmates or to me. And they feel good about themselves but they also the others feel comfortable asking them, so I think that's really good for collaboration. You can make lots of different things like websites and games and all that, and you can also take the things that you've made and put them on your blog. So like, you can make your blog come to life with all little games and tasks. So our coding experiences for kids start from prep where students begin using the Beebot robots and making simple codes or algorithms to solve problems with the Beebots and move them around. Alongside that we've got our Year ones and Year 2s and Year 3s using iPad apps, simple things like Scratch Junior to create animations beginning to make stories and then we've started to use some of the code.org resources and then some of the Lego robots through the middle and senior school as well as some of the more senior Scratch applications. I like the enjoyment of making the games and like helping people with their coding if they need help. Yeah. I help others because they didn't really understand how you put the blocks together to make the sequence work. How do you feel when you're helping them? I feel really happy because I like to help others. They're learning lots of those really independent learning skills when they're coding that they can then transfer into their other classroom work. When I'm coding I think about the procedure and the things that you have to do to get it right. I use that thinking when in maths and lots of different places because you can use the have the larger problem and then break it up into smaller pieces so it's easier to do step by step. Their self-efficacy as learners has really increased because they know that they can help find the solution and they know that that's what good learners do, that they don't always have the answers and things don't come easily and sometimes good learning can be uncomfortable.